Hello and a very good day to you. Thank you for joining. We are happy you are here because you've been waiting for this. This is the active pattern. We're actually going to see a stream of winter storms and some sustained cold weather. And we've built up a little bit of a snowpack across the middle portion of the country. And then of course, across the West, it's been snow palooza, even in towards portions of the Northeast. We are starting to get there with at least a few inches or so on the ground. Then well up into New England, you're talking about tons of snowfall that is accumulated, but not much for most of the mid-Atlantic, that's for sure. But look at that. Over a foot in most spots across the upper Midwest, some spots of around 18 to 24 inches on the ground. And then, yeah, still out across the West, big time snowfall accumulations on that ground of over 20, 30, 40 inches and then into the Sierra Nevada mountains, well, well into the feet and feet of snowfall. We got this trough of low pressure across portions of the Midwest, Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, Northeast, and that's gonna generally ebb and flow just gently. We'll get injections of cold air at times, but it's near average for the most part. The warmer weather is actually gonna stay off towards the south. This is gonna be kind of cool. Watch this break off across portions of SoCal and into Nevada there. It's its own little cutoff low pressure center as we push down some cold air at times across the west. Very active pattern with a lot of snowfall into the Pacific Northwest. We've had the cold across portions of the northwest, across portions of the central U.S., and the storm track has been further east of that. So if you have the cold into that storm track, you're looking at a ton of snow in this pattern across Ohio Valley, Great Lakes, into the middle of the country. That's not really happened. That cold has been confined mostly to the northwest. And there's been like no snow near the east coast due to the fact of this southeast ridge of high pressure pumping in warm Atlantic air northwestward back into the I-95 corridor. So that's been the big lesson to why we haven't seen a super ton of snow. That changes a little bit. We get this system in here throughout portions of the morning. That's a little wraparound snow. There will be lake enhanced snow producing a few inches in spots. Another clipper system on Friday. Saturday, how about another system lining up across the middle of the country with another low pressure? That moves through. That pumps in some warm air. So that's all rain across a good deal of the Ohio Valley and south and only as some snow showers up into New England. Then it's a fairly quieter pattern for just a day or two before another system could bring snow on the northern half and rain for Tennessee for the nation's capital as well. This is snowfall that actually accumulated already on Wednesday plus all of the next week or so. So some of these numbers are going to be inflated to what we're actually going to see to come. But a good area of three, four, five, six inches in a lot of spots and depending on storm track could even be a little bit more. Not a ton more on top of that big storm uh, snowpack that we already have across the upper Midwest and Western Great Lakes, but a couple more inches as we see a couple clipper systems and it will be active from Montana to Idaho, but not a ton more to come into the Sierra Nevadas as temperatures moderate and it gets a little bit less of an active pattern. <sighs> wow, we haven't seen a map like this in a while. Look at that, that's not just cold, this is Arctic air that's gonna kind of sustain itself. Bitterly cold weather at times, yeah, over the course of early February. The southeast ridge is going to try to dominate, but it's going to be held further off towards the southeast. So these below average temperatures actually get into Michigan and Ohio and into the interior northeast. Precipitation wise, we showed you that it's going to be a parade of storms. Absolutely, it's going to stay fairly wet across portions of the eastern half of the country and then also wet into portions of western areas of the country, southwest especially, but like we just said, it's not a super ton of snow. We are gonna see some periods of rainfall there, except for the extreme higher terrain. Thanks for watching. Check us out again next week.